And I don't know what uh, what another person's definition of literature mm -hmm. is, but mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, it's m far more richer than even our poetry. Mm -hmm. uh, some uh, it doesn't really make it. But and our short stories, uh, the the English short stories written by Sri Lankans, are nothing compared to the Sinhala. Uh, mm -hmm. Sinhala short stories is comparable to the best in the world. Why? Is that the case? Because this seems to be a parallel trend with uh, theatre as I, well. Yeah, uh, I think it's uh, it's uh, those who write in English. Most of them, not not all, obviously. Ah, uh, no, no, then they have no sense of this country, so they write. They write in a Sri Lankan. Uh, they write a Sri Lankan situation, mm. but they don't understand uh, Sri Lankanness. Mm. Uh, not that anyone can say this is Sri Lankanness, but there's a sense in which you know what is happening, you mm. know what the people are. And when you say something that that is uh, you know, totally out, mm. it shows. This person but can can Karl Muller, for example, Yakadaka, Jam Fruit Tree, um, uh, Sonna Boy, One Was, and all the all. I mean, when you, when you read that, there was delight in in the expression in the literary tradition of that community. Yes, um, uh, Karl, Karl Muller, I think he understood. To the, that his community right. very well, and I have seen those people, uh, you know, in real life. He's right; he's spot on there. Mm -hmm. So maybe he 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 got hooked on to the right thing, mm. but not even sometimes I mean, we we all suffer from wanting to write the great novel sure. uh, or the great piece which explains everything. You know, when you're young, you you know everything and you want to write it and you think you're best at it, but. Uh, we haven't lived much. Mm. We haven't lived long enough. We have not uh, immersed ourselves in this society. So you think, as a, as with age, a writer also matures? You, uh, do you find yourself maturing as a writer, uh, as you? Uh, well, some people live? wrote uh, all their things before they were twenty-five. And they were great stuff, right? Mm, kids. But in your uh, case, in my case, uh, I think, uh, in terms of content, yes. The more I live, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm more um, tolerant. Mm. And uh, more nuanced, I think. Not that I'm greatly nuanced, but I'm more nuanced than I was. Mm. Uh, and uh, being in advertising, also, I do a bit of advertising that has helped my uh, writing skills. Sure. But yes, age has made a difference for it, me. I want to shift to the, the the publishing side of things as well, because I've had these discussions with publishers in Sri Lanka, many of whom just tell me that. Publishing poetry is a non-starter, yeah. particularly English poetry. And they say that there is no market, there is no interest, and fr quite frankly, there is no interest then of the publisher as well uh, to publish uh, a collection or a volume of poetry. Uh, is that the case? I think so. Yeah. I mean, p p publishers are businessmen. Why, why should they uh, uh, produce something which doesn't sell? Mm. That is silly. Mm. But maybe we should think, I have uh, said this before, so maybe we should think that India, uh, yeah, the South, South Asia, sure. uh, that's a... M that Sri Lanka, where you get hundred people who like poetry, thousand maybe, mm. you know, how many? Mm. Uh, but India, it's a bigger population. You get uh, another ten thousand. Mm. If you can tap into ten percent of that, then you're through. Mm. Uh, so that is something maybe we should look at. Mm. Uh, but I understand the publisher's uh, dilemma. Now, I, I published a book of poems ten years ago. Mm. Uh, with the help of the library services board, I didn't sell a single book. Mm. Partly because I don't know how to go about selling my own mm. book. Mm. Uh, partly because why the hell should I sell a book? I I gave it to my friends. Mm. If I were to publish my subsequent uh, collections, I probably would do the same. I don't think I'll. It will have to be a self. But you you you've never published, is it? You, you've never published any of your uh, in the sense of uh, the volumes. Uh, of no, the, the, that first the first one. Yeah, right. That was right. ten years ago. Right. Huh? After yeah. that, there were two for the <laughs> yeah, now, uh, yeah. which are. Just lying there. You sure. know. Uh, uh. Well, I mean, I, and it is to the creation of all that I want to come. I mean, twice nominated, excellent collections of poetry, a certain maturity from the last to, to the present one, The Under Side of Silence. Enjoyed reading both. Well done. Um, and I think the judges enjoyed this time's collection better than they did the earlier one. Uh, how, how would you go about doing this? I mean, and, and in relation to that, you speak of your influence in the Satipatthana Sutra study of 2001. Yeah. How does that tie into, uh, uh, and why? How I do I write? I mean, yeah. I, it's not that I sit and say, okay, today I'm going to write a poem. Yeah. We, we never do that. It's not like writing a novel. Mm. I had conversation with the person who won the creation, mm. uh, Shehan. Shehan, yeah. It's a, it's a tough thing for, mm. for novelists. Mm. For poets, it's a, mm, you just sit and write yeah. something. Well, it but could be tough for the poet as well, but it's easy for you, I take it. I don't know. I don't craft. Okay. Actually, I don't take 
travel or it I want to write say something. So tell, tell us how you write a poem. Is it automatic? You just write a, a stanza and then you don't you don't think with it. It's no, it's some idea that hits me, something yeah. that I need to explore to myself, and I just sit and okay. uh, mostly now it is uh, on the computer. Sure. I'm on the computer most of the time. Yeah. I I just type it in a word file. Or long years ago, it is right. So I just sit and write. Mm. Like at the nation, I just sat at the computer, the layout mm. uh, room, and I just typed just to fill that space. That's mm. it. Mm. Satipatthana Sutra, this is actually, uh, we, had a we had a discussion group, uh, Satipatthana Sutra, led by, led by uh, uh, Reverend uh, Atrali Ratana. Mm. How it uh, impacted me is that I began to see connections between things. Uh, for, uh, uh, easy example would be you can see the universe in a grain of sand that means anything can be seen anything mm. so you see th that the entire world is made of metaphors mm. if you want it mm. so you have immense mm. uh, unlimited amount of material to draw from mm. right mm. so it's easy when you're writing mm. poetry when when you get that mm. Uh, mm. and then you can you, it's easy and was it more the case with this volume that uh, for the not most recent creation? Not necessarily, but this, the earlier volume had, had more <coughs> political content. Sure, and sure. Uh, yeah, okay, no, no go, go, then when you said poli I'll, I'll, I'll ask a second question, but go ahead. This one, uh, this one is far more philosophical, uh, far more reflective. Mm. Uh, it is, uh, the earlier one was, the, there were always places, people, mm. situations that I was, here it's far more general, mm. and I think I think it is, uh, in my opinion, a softer, mm. a, a very much softer collection of poetry. Well, I found it harder in this sense that you had to think hard about the poetry, whereas never, others never, um, never, I it, never it, it, thought it, hard. No, it, no, no. The reader has to think harder. Uh, probably, mean, yeah, it, 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 probably, it has yeah. more resonance. Uh, you know, it's more pregnant with meaning, which is why a, a very cursory reading between the two volumes, which you kindly sent to me. But in reference to the the, the politics of it, I mean, one criticism was that uh, this time's creation, for example, was not according to the judges, I don't, I'm not paraphrasing them, but you know, that they felt that it wasn't responding to the context of Sri Lanka. And I know that you had some opinion about that. Yes, uh, I write two articles a week <laughs> on Saturday <laughs> on the political situation. Yeah, yeah. You can't demand that, mm. uh, Sanjay. Mm. I, think, I think it's unfair. Mm. Uh, that some people, I'm, because the other side, the flip side of the coin is, okay, you write a political novel, then uh, you, you get it. Mm. It doesn't happen that way. Mm. It shouldn't happen that mm. way. It's mm. You're being judged for good literature, mm. not for, you know, your choice of uh, subject. Mm. That is that is subject. That's something else. Mm. Uh, we are all political in one way or the other, and we choose to be political where we want to be, when we want to be, mm. with whom mm. we want to be. Mm. But uh, just to say that, you know, Maybe it was a coincidence that this time people are not, but I think that we are as political, mm. uh, you know, in our lives as we were last year. Sure, uh, sure. So Especially that is different. I do want, and this is completely a subjective understanding. You wrote uh, in way early in 1992 July, uh, reflections uh, on a lost election in Hantana, um, and I read this, and I, I would like to quote this: "For we have had to measure victory, not by how far we have come." but in the reluctant tears that swell in vacant eyes. By the amount of ground retained, the few square inches of space for laughter, the few cubic inches in our hearts for love. And I found that really quite resonant with the context today. Well, I do Perhaps in a, in, a, in a very different way, but you know, that is, as I said, is a subjective understanding yes. of, of that stanza. Yeah. The, the question, I think I hinted at it earlier, was how does or can or should the writer respond to uh, levels of violence and trauma? I, you know, I, I'm trying to do this online mm. and you have been a participant mm. as well, trying to get res poets to just mm. respond, not mm. censure, okay. but just respond. Mm. Uh, can you do it uh, or should you do it is the question. It's a personal choice. Yeah. If you want to do it, you can. If you don't want to do it, you, you don't have to. Sure. A lot of people don't. Mm. Uh, that particular poem referred to a, a student election. Yeah. And in the universities, those who are in power stay in power. In f for, for years, yeah. not like 17 years, 20, 30 years, they are <laughs> yeah. in power. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's impossible and you can't. That's why you have to measure victory in those terms. Yeah. Now, in the, in the larger political context of Sri Lanka, it depends on where you stand on the political. Uh, you might uh, identify with that or you might not. Uh, but I think that... Uh, there are no great victories. Mm. There are no, no. There are no great defeats. Mm. And uh, in, even if you're on the side that ended up winning, 
I think you have to retain a, a very critical uh, mm. uh, eye mm. as a citizen. Mm. 